Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia here with another project for cat scrappiness. Today I'm going to be making a birthday card with some fun shaker balloons on it. I hope you'll stick around and see what I'm going to create. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to the channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and ring that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. We're so glad that you're here again. I don't know about you, but whenever I see those fun confetti balloons, I always want one. They're the ones that are kind of clear and then they have some either colored or maybe gold confetti inside of them. Well, when I saw the new balloons in the Cat Scrappiness Birthday Essentials die sets, I knew I wanted to give those a try. So today, that's what we're going to do. Besides the Birthday Essentials die set, I will be using the Happy Birthday with Shadow die and the 4mm Light Gold Solid Star sequins. Now, all of these products will be linked in that description box below if you want to check them out when the video is over. Let's get crafty! To get started today, I'm going to be doing the die cutting, the balloons and their strings I will cut from a piece of white cardstock. I will be using the Happy Birthday Sentiment on gold foil cardstock and the shadow with a scrap of vellum. Here is a look at the finished die cut pieces. You'll see on the main piece I did three balloons and to add a little extra texture, I ran it through an embossing folder off screen. Also off screen, I cut three of the strings in black cardstock and a scrap of white cardstock that was a little less wide than my main piece and about four and a quarter inches tall. I also took a couple of the acetate sheets and cut those down, I think it was four by five and a quarter, just slightly smaller than my main piece as well. I did cut two, but you'll see later I only end up using one of them. The first thing I want to do to start building my shaker window is add one of the pieces of acetate to the back of my die cut piece. I go around the outside edges of the balloons as well as the outside edges of the piece of cardstock and then I carefully and firmly press the acetate sheet onto that. I bring in my biggest stamp block I have and I set that on it and off to the side for about five minutes to dry. Then I use the same adhesive on the back of the happy birthday die cut letters. I just tried to put a little bit on the thickest parts of the sentiment and then I carefully place that onto the vellum shadow. Now because I'm using liquid glue and it's going onto vellum, I do have a little bit of wiggle room time, but when I have it in place, I pressed it down with the stamp block just for a little extra adherence, I think that helps, and then I brought in the dot for the eye that I had been keeping in a safe place off screen and got that added as well. Once everything was dry, I did add some foam tape to the back of my balloon piece. Now you'll see here at the front, you can see some foam tape where the strings are, but that's okay because now I'm going to go ahead and get the strings put in place. Using the same liquid glue, I place a little bit down that channel for the string and then firmly place each one of those in its spot and once again this sat for about five minutes to dry completely. Off screen I cut off the right string that was hanging off of the card and I decided instead of white cardstock behind my openings I was going to use vellum. I thought this gave more of the correct color when you see those confetti balloons. It's not exactly clear, they are a little bit frosty. For now, I'm going to pull the release paper on the foam tape that is just toward the top of the card, the part where the vellum will fit over. Now, while I was working on that, my kitty, Lyndon, decided to stop by and see what's going on. So I took care of the release paper and my kitty cat before moving on. 
Now it's time to get those shaker bits in their place. I use the Cat Scrappiness Triangle Embellishment Tray to help me do this. Having that one corner in there really helps get the sequins where you want them, because I definitely did not want them sticking to the foam tape. Once all of those little goodies were in their place, I then put the vellum behind those openings. I did make sure to press nice and solidly so none of the stars can escape. Now all of the parts of the card are ready so we can start getting it put together. I did put some extra adhesive behind the vellum on the balloon piece. I tried my best not to get any adhesive behind the openings. Then when that was all ready, I placed it onto the gold mat. And then this is gonna get put on the front of a card base before we move on. This is just a standard A2 card base with the fold on the left. I added some adhesive to the back of the sentiment piece. I did try to keep the glue right behind those letters so it didn't show through the vellum. And when I had that nice and sticky, I placed it in the lower left hand of the card front. I set this aside to dry for about five minutes before I finished the card by adding a little extra bling. I decided that I wanted to bring some of those stars out onto the card front, so I added three drops of adhesive in three different places on the card, and I kept them on the embossed dots so I would be sure to have nice placement. After I had the glue on there, I did let it get tacky for maybe five seconds before I started putting on the stars. Now when I did start, I realized that instead of putting three sets of three, I liked the way that three sets of two stars looked. So I ended up just wiping away that third bead of glue in each of the sections. And here is a look at the finished card. I hope you enjoyed seeing how I made today's card. If you did, as always, a thumbs up is appreciated. Until the next video, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. I hope now you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above. And if you're interested in any of the products or tools I used in today's video, I do have some links in the description box.